Hi, we're Lynn and Rowan, and thanks for watching this video presentation of the property. Well, hi folks, and welcome to number 8 Sellows Street in Palaranda. Now, I'm standing in the front yard here, and from this position, I can actually see the ocean. So there are some glimpses there. You might like to investigate down the track whether you could go up a level here, and you would have some stunning ocean views. So to the right, there is a, um, an open carport, double carport, uh, to house your vehicles and you can get directly into the um, the back of the home undercover by um, the door at the back of that carport to make sure that you're all undercover. Now this is a really interesting home it's um, quite deceiving from the street beautiful inside four bedrooms two bathrooms and a gorgeous entertainment area out the back so just as we come in this front patio area here I just wanted to show you so the front yard is um, fully fenced there and grassed there was at one stage actually a swimming pool um, in that front yard but the owners prior to the current owners actually um, had it removed so um, you could put one back in there if you wanted to really good storage here as well and I'll show you that straight up so that you can see so there's a little uh, storage area there. That door there actually goes back into the garage um, so that gives you that undercover access and there is a little workshop in here with lots of cupboards as well. So that's nice and handy and all at the front of the home. Now let's go inside and have a look. You, it is security and insect screens throughout and um, lots of louvers so that gives you the ability to control the, um, the breezes and uh, they look pretty good too. So we're in the, uh, just inside the front door here and there's a really large uh, living area and you'll see those, um, those louvers, there's two banks of them in this area here. So nice and bright and airy. So we've just got this one set up as a, as a bit of a family room, TV room. And to the right here, there is room for a, um, a decent size dining table as well. Nice timber feature wall behind that there and then you've got all of this open plan area here as well which is more living space again and it's got a, um, a servery bench directly from the kitchen. So it's a 607 square meter block. Uh, there is irrigation in place as well and lots of air conditioners throughout as well. Just in that shot there you can see that there's two big split systems for the um, for these living areas here. Fresh and airy and it has a real beach house feel which is really really nice. Just looking back across there I'll take you into the um, into the kitchen after we've explored everything else but firstly I'll take you on to this side where you'll be able to see one of the four bedrooms. Now this is um, this is an interesting room because it's got your um, big cupboard built-in cupboards there, nice big space for bedroom and then we've got this walk-in robe around this side here, which I think is just screaming out to, um, to maybe add an ensuite in as well. There's certainly plenty of room there and some natural light because there's some more louvers there as well. You'll see those security and insect screens throughout as well. And that can kind of be shut, been shut off from the rest of the home just with those sliding doors there also. That room is also air conditioned. So you'll see that there's ceiling fans throughout as well. Now let's go over and have a look at the other bedrooms and then I'll take you out to the entertainment area. So that timber feature wall actually wraps around there as well and just gives a bit of depth to the home. At the front of the home here, this is probably the smallest bedroom of the, um, of the property. It's still got a built-in cupboard there, you can see the air conditioner um, and louvers and room for a bed and a desk in there. Fully tiled throughout as well. Uh, now another bedroom, so this is the third bedroom that we'll be seeing. Again a bank of louvers there, ceiling fan in this one, air conditioned and lots and lots of space here. So this is quite a long room and it's got those built-ins at the end there which have some built-in shelving in them also. Good teenager's room there, you can put a study desk in as well as the bed. Now there is very generous storage throughout this home as well. To my right here there's um, two double door linen cupboards and into the main bathroom which has had a renovation in recent times and it looks stunning. 
So we've got the um, floating vanity there, and it's got above uh, bench basins, the, the glass feature basin, basins there with some Hollywood lighting. Nice big mirror, and you'll see it's tiled from floor to ceiling. There's actually a very deep spa bath there as well. And then you've got your corner shower, which has got a rain shower nozzle as well as that detachable nozzle as well. So that's a really nice big bathroom, and there is a separate toilet. So to the right here we go into the laundry which has direct access to outside there. There is a laundry um, linen cupboard there also and your separate toilet that I just talked about is actually in here and you'll see it's quite a, a modern unit but it's also got its own um, powder room there so vanity, more storage and a nice feature mirror. As we move further into the house we're coming into the master bedroom. So this one is laid out, it's got its own ensuite as well, and more louvers, lots of light, air conditioned, and good space as well. I'll just take you down to this end of the room, and we'll look back onto there. So built-in cupboards on the left, and then our ensuite's on the right, which we'll, um, we'll go and take a look at now. But you can also see that those views go straight out to the um, garden and the entertainment area. There's a little feature pond out there as well. Okay, more louvers at the end of this room and here we go into that ensuite. So there is a toilet and your vanity there and that has got the shower at the other end with the mirror. Again, tiled floor to ceiling and the built-ins on the opposite side of that are all mirror doors as well. So that's a triple door built in with the mirror doors. Okay, so that's the bedrooms and they're all around the perimeter. And then we've got this extra little space here, which we've got kind of set up as a study, but that could even be uh, casual dining if you wanted it to be. That way you would have formal and casual dining, as well as those two big living areas indoors. Now the cupboards, um, drawers are soft clothes in this kitchen. It's had a renovation uh, as well. There's an appliance cupboard there. Um, we've got a, a great little pantry as well. well. It's not too little and it's got the drawers built in. Feature stainless steel range hood. You've got the cooktop there as well. And lots of drawers, which is great. You've also got a... Um, a double drawer dishwasher here that's integrated into the cupboards so it actually appears to disappear when it's shut so it just forms part of the cupboards you've got your double sink there as well uh, the microwave will be staying with this one also and there is an electric oven there now let me just show you these the pantry in here I'll just open those doors up so that you can see but it has got the drawers built into that pantry as well which is very handy because you can get to the back of the cupboards without any problem. There's your appliance cupboard there and here's your servery back into that main living area. So I'm sure you'll agree when you look at it it's nice and bright, modern, airy. There's loads and loads of opportunity with this one as far as how you would uh, lay out your own furniture but there's certainly um, no shortage of space to do whatever you'd like to do with it. A little bit different with the, um, the yard space at the front, uh, but if you wanted to maybe even make that a little bit more private, you could add a different fence there, or as I said, you could sink another pool into the, into the space as well. Now this area out here is fabulous. So it's all tiled, it's all under cover. Um, we've got approvals for all of the, the extra additions with patio roofs and that sort of thing. And this lovely garden here just adds some greenery to the area. So there's no um, need for mowing out at the back of the property. The only mowing that's required is at that front yard and your footpath. I'll just take you for a look around here so that you can see the entire layout. So that just brings you back around to that side there and the door where the laundry comes out. It's a close hanging space there. And the drainage has been done so that it all drains off back to the curb. They've spent a lot of time making sure that this area is um, very good for entertaining and 
making sure that the drainage is all uh, back to the back to the curb. So folks, this is a beautiful home. It's in a fantastic suburb, Palaranda Beachside, and we are three doors down from from the beach. So it's certainly um, one that you should have a look at. We'll, um, we're available to do private inspections on it at any time. There will be some open houses as well, but don't wait for the open houses. We're happy to show you through before then. The owners are keen to sell, and we'd love to show you through. So we look forward to hearing from you. So if you're looking to buy or planning to sell, please give us a call today. We'd love to help you.